Hello guys, welcome back to part 2 of um, Resident Evil 4 for PS3. Uh, so it's just like continuing along here, we're at the farm, but we need to get to Homestead, um, which our location is. This game contains quick time events, so let's read the signpost right here. Yeah, I've seen the signpost before. Right, I might die here because like, the quick time events for this is horrible. I hate the quick time events for the button mashing thing. I like the Wii one better. But that seems too easy, like you need a challenge. Alright, oh, just in time. <laughs> okay, um, you can shoot the gems up um, from the roof, but I've got loads of money, so it doesn't matter. Uh, there's some bats. I like dark food here because it's dangerous. Like people's got like sticks of dynamite and stuff. So I just like skip all this. Keep the locker for that and go through. Get the monies, and I'm gonna get some more handgun rounds. Uh, if you go through here, we can. We've got the um, bombs, so it's like shoot the wire, like it's connecting them, and you can like go there, some more money here, and now we can like push this, now for a quite longish cutscene, so we open this, Okay, so that is the end of a chapter. Uh, you get save prompts, but we don't want to save. Feeble humans, let us give you our power. <laughs> Soon, you will become unable to resist this intoxicating power. Tell me what's going on here. Americano, see? Now what brings a bloke like you to this part of the world? Oh, hey, easy, whoever you are. <sighs> Name's Leon. Came here looking for this girl. Seen her? What, are you supposed to be a cop or something? Nah, you don't look the type. Maybe. Okay, let me guess. She's the president's daughter? <laughs> it's too good for a guess. Wanna start explaining? Psychic powers. Nah, I'm just kidding with you, amigo. I overheard one of the villagers talking something about the president's daughter in the church. And who might you be? Me llamo Luis Serra. I used to be a cop in Madrid. But now I'm just a good-for-nothing guy who happens to be quite a ladies' man. Why'd you quit? Shush, <sighs> policia. You put your life on the line. Nobody really appreciates you enough for it. 
Being a hero isn't what it's cracked up to be anymore. I used to be a cop myself. Only for a day, though. I thought I was bad. Somehow I managed to get myself involved with the incident in Raccoon City on my first day in the force. That is the incident with the viral outbreak, right? I think I might have seen a sample of the virus in a lab at the department. Okay. Do something, cop! After you. Now! It's Leon. Sorry I couldn't get in touch sooner, but I was uh, a bit tied up. You're okay, right? I'm fine. There was a male civilian held captive. According to him, Ashley's in a church somewhere. What happened to him? He managed to escape. Do you have a fix on the location of that church? No, but apparently there's a secret passage in the village that leads there. I'm heading back to the village. Okay, information from Luis. Uh... Actually, he's in the church, um, so we have to get there. Over here, stranger. <clears throat> no thanks. Uh, that is actually the merchant. All the money that you collect, all the jewels that you collect and combined, you can sell to him. If you come, if you go around this little area here, there's bells and stuff you can pick up. This looks a bit dangerous. This is another enemy field area. So be on your guard. You need to collect two items from here which allows you to escape. The first item, you go either way, it doesn't really matter. Um, the first item is inside, have, inside here. Climb up to the top, little treasure chest. You get the emblem, white half. Let's do that. I'm going, I'm, I'm going a completely wrong way. You've got to go through this way. Because I don't really want to kill all the enemies because this is a, um, a, um, a walkthrough guide. So I don't really want to risk losing my ammunition even though I can like easily buy easily buy a Chicago type fighter at any time but I don't want to yet because my last play through of this last um, let's play this um, it was infinite this infinite that and I want a bit of a challenge with my stuff so let's go here um, feel free to like scour around and um, pick up the items. You've got to combine that to actually make the key. Okay, reload and go across here. Um, this section is the sewer section. Uh, there's a go on there. Seriously, I I'd call this a sewers, um, but I'm not quite sure. Guy. There's a spindle in there. Okay, if you go here, you can like duck. Oh, didn't do that in time. Okay, 
now we've got more stuff. And if we go through here, we need to heal up. Help. So we go through here, I think there's a herb in here, so I use that to get back up. And if I go down here, which is the end, there'll be a ladder further up, but a ladder down, which leads you to a few fish and a load of items, so you can go that way if you wish. Over here, some crows and the stuff to shoot. In there is some items and an item there. The way to get this, if it drops into the water, it's only worth a thousand. But if you shoot that and shoot this, it's worth 10,000 because it's not dirty. Yeah, uh, you can't wash them off in this game. Apparently crows carry money with them. Um, so, let's go up here. And let's go through here. Easy puzzle, let's go up. And left or right. You have to make the insig now. Okay, in this room. There be ammo. There be stuff. And handgun ammunition. Collector's key. Which is the insignia key. You should all know where this goes. This goes to the um, entrance to the church. That weird chapel thing we saw in the village. Okay, so that's another chapter done. How long we got? I'm gonna save here. Um because this will be it for the um chapter. And next time we will be going back into the village and um finding out what's on the other side of that door with the insignia. So until then, see you guys. <laughs>